All right, Shalom, Makim Shalom. It's the brother Yahweh Sapat. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is going to be a quick hit, man, on uh, basically how, you know, this, this place got to go, man, you know? And, uh, hey, man, and for a lot of different reasons, you know, brothers could make a series out of just, you know, this this title alone. But, um, yeah, man, I'm at the job, you know, and, you know, we, we know, hey, man, working here. Hey, we in captivity. It's going to come with uh, some hardships. It's going to come with some, you know, some irritating days, man. You know, you, you're going to be vexed in this place, but... It's, it's just, you know, it's getting worse and worse, man. You know, as we move towards the end, and um, one of the reasons is, man, it's just everything you see, the, the things that you see that's out of order, it bothers you because, you know, you trying to live righteous in a, in a world built on wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's since I, you know, spirit led me to this, speaking on that, on, you know, just hitting on that point. The earth, this is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So we living in a society that that is built on wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? The people who are in a, a seat of rulership right now, they built this society on wickedness. And they are the wicked. You know, E, the so-called white man, you know. We, we, you know, if you want to know, man, you know. But the point being... This place is, is is vexating, man, and that's another reason why it, that's another reason why we need Yahweh Shah, man. You have to work around homosexuals. You have to work around male and female. You got to work around, um, you know, your people. You know, you you. Hey, it, it it could be the smallest thing, man. You watching Jake in the in the, in the uh, break room, you know, uh, talking about Christmas and eating a pork chop, you know, and it, this shit it, it, it irks, man. You know, you get it. You get up every day. This and that's it's a it's multiple reasons as to why this society wears us out, especially the Israelite man. You know, you get up to go to work every day to do the same shit. You know what I'm saying? That in itself is vexed. You know, uh, we in a, 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 a wicked time right now. During the during each year, it's the same time. These these is this holiday season, man, and uh. All of this shit just is vexating. The Christmas, you go everywhere you go, they got fucking Christmas music playing. This shit is is, is ridiculous, man. You know? But uh, the first scripture that comes to mind, speaking on vexation, uh, where the scriptures talk about how Lot was vexed with what he saw, you know, day in and day out. It was basically saying on how, hey, you know, matter of fact, I'm going to get it right here. It's in 2 Peter, the second chapter. And that's us in this truth, man. It's, it's, it's like, you know, hey, this shit is fucking sick, man. You know, the shit that you see, the shit that you got to deal with, man. You know, and the shit that Esau okays. You know, he's okay in these wicked things that you're seeing. That makes you even more mad at this fucking devil, man, because he advocates wickedness. You know what I'm saying? He promotes wickedness, man. This place is, 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 you know, is hell for us. This is 2 Peter 2 and 7 through 8. And deliver just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. And it's the same thing with us in this truth here in this time, the times that we're living in. Everything you see vexes you, man. The life you live, you know what I'm saying? Everything you see vexes you, you know? And if you're wise, you're going to be vexed. You're going to be upset with it. Scriptures talk about how, um, what does it say? Uh, uh, Surely oppressing maketh the wise man mad. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get that. So what you see, if, if, if what you're seeing irritates you, man, it vexes you, it pisses you off, you're wise. That's a that's a sign, you know what I'm saying? Because you if you didn't have the wisdom of Yahweh Shah, 
you this shit wouldn't bother you because it didn't bother us in the world. You know, certain things did, but it, hey, at the end of the day, you, you know, you wasn't in this spirit, man, that you in now. It's a, it's a totally different spirit than when you in the world and you seeing this certain shit. You don't know, you know, what's wrong. You don't, hey, we was eating pork in the world, man. We was going to church in the world. So a lot of the shit that we didn't used to get vexed by when we weren't in the truth, that totally changes and it flips this knowledge and understanding of y'all about some y'all shy. Which, like, like I said, that's a sign that you are, the Lord is dealing with you if this shit pisses you off, man. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad and a gift destroyeth the heart. You know? Yeah, man, this, this place makes you angry, man. Just having to be here, having to dwell here, man, it, it's, it's like Micah 2 and 10 says, this is not our rest. You know, this is really a impromptu lesson, man. You know, and uh, I'm going to keep that title, man. It, it's, it, I came up with it through the spirit. You know, this place got to go, man. Why? Because it vexes the elect. And the Heavenly Father hath cared to, uh, for his elect. And he's going to come and deliver his elect, man. You know, which that leads me to another scripture. Bear with me, Aki and Baba Kusha. Because it's all about the elect, man. The elect are the only ones making a petition to the Heavenly Father to destroy this fucking place. They're the only ones that care. They're the only ones that see what's wrong with this place, man. Everybody else walketh on in darkness. You know, like the scriptures say, covered in, the people are covered in gross darkness, man. And majority of the people of our nation, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, two-thirds of you are going to die here, man. You're going to perish, man. You know? And yeah, man, hey, the, the, that's part of, the Lord's going to speed up the time for the elect's sake. Because he, he hears us sighing and crying about this place, man. No, this place got to fucking go. Seeing these heathen over you and they got a fucking uh, pompous attitude. Esau with his pompous bullshit. Hey, man, you, you pretty much got to live in peace amongst, you know, homosexuals, which we know what what, what will be going on with them in uh, uh, if we were living in the ancient times, man. Which, you know, I don't have to go. Brothers, no. You know what I'm saying? I got to be a... Uh, uh, I got to be subtle because, you know, YouTube might delete this. You know what I'm saying? Who knows, man? You know, they strike brothers' channels for the littlest shit. But you allow, you know, two-thirds of our people, they put up some music video about killing a nigga, uh, uh, you know, just fucking describing a murder and how it was done in detail. You don't delete those videos. You know, A.R. Ab got arrested, that rapper from Philly, for basically giving Blad TV the, the whole scoop on his little organization. Hey, you know, they ain't deleted them videos after they were done using them in court or whatever the hell. You know, they didn't delete Alpo coming on, on, on YouTube talking about how he killed Rich Porter. And it's just examples, man. But they delete us for teaching the true breakdowns and understanding of these scriptures. That's how you know, man. It's it's a They have a vendetta against the truth, against this word, man. You know, like the scriptures say, man, folly is set in great dignity and a rich sit in low place. You no, know, those are those that video videos are pure folly. Them videos get 50 millions of views and hundreds of thousands of views, you know. But I'm going uh, I'm going to wrap this up because I got to get ready and uh, go back in here to the plantation. Con, so this is a Luke 18 and 7. And shall not Yahweh. By Shem Yahushua, avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. And just like the Lord delivered Lot when he was vexed and while he was vexed, he's going to deliver the elect in the same manner. Man, he's going to send Yahushua and the holy angels to deliver us, man. Lord willing, I'm of their number, you know. Simply because this place is vexing us, so we know it's vexing Yahweh when Yahushua. Scriptures tell you the Lord is angry with the wicked every day, man. But with that, man, I got to close out, you know. Lord willing, this was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, for resting the spirit upon me to put this lesson out. And uh, to the next one, I say Shalom.